Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video and today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 3. We are going to see the design of fast adder. That is we are going to see carry look ahead adder. Right, so far what we have seen is we have seen half adder, full adder and parallel adder as well and then we have seen ripple carry adder and today we are going to see fast adder that is nothing but carry look ahead adder right this is very important concept in this particular unit right and you have to explain the logic of carrier look ahead adder and then why is that it is called as fast adder right you have to prove why is that it is called as fast adder and then you have to explain the complete logic of carry look ahead adder okay so we will start with what is carry look ahead adder first okay so carry look ahead adder is called as a fast adder because it overcomes the drawback of ripple carry adder okay the main drawback of ripple carry adder is the carry propagate from lsb to msb right so there will be a propagation delay right there will be more delay in ripple carry adder right and if you have not watched the ripple carry adder video so far please watch ripple carry video, ripple carry adder video first and then come to this particular video so that you can understand the concept very clearly okay right so the carry look ahead adder is used in digital logic and it is used mainly to improve the speed when compared with the the simple ripple carry adder okay and as i said in a ripple carry adder the carry propagates right so from lsb to msb the carry propagates so there will be more delay in ripple carry adder right and to explain it very clearly, we'll, we'll just see the overview of ripple carry adder, right? And the drawback of it. This is the normal ripple carry adder. This is a 4-bit ripple carry adder, right? We have already explained this, right? And you can see each output, that is, you have 4 full adders, right? And the carry out of one full adder is carry in for another full adder right c naught is the carry out for first full adder but that is the carry in for second full adder and c1 is the carry out for the second full adder but it is carry in for third full adder right so the carry propagates from one full adder to the other full adder right and because of this carry propagation you'll have more delay right and the very important thing is in ripple carry adder it will not perform parallel operation right each and every adder depends upon the previous output right this carry right and this depends upon this carry and this depends upon this carry okay so which means this full adder will not be able to work until or unless it receives c0 similarly this will not work until or unless it receives c1 and this will not work until it receives c2 right so everything is interdependent right and that is why the delay is very high right and the carry propagates from one end to the other end right and to overcome this what we are going to do is we are going for carry look ahead adder which is nothing but a fast adder okay it is called as fast adder now understand one particular concept the main logic of carry look ahead adder right so what is the main logic of carry look ahead adder right so here the main main problem is everything is interdependent right the carry of one is depend upon the other correct the carry propagates from one to the other correct that is the problem the main logic of carry look ahead adder is right it will allow the parallel operation of the adders that is it will parallelly generate the sum and carry it need not wait for the previous carry right that is the main logic of fast adder you will see how it works okay now as i said right everything is full adder here right even in ripple carry adder you are using full adder and even in carry look ahead adder you will be using full adders okay and for a full adder you will have three inputs that is two inputs and one carry right and it produces the carry out and sum correct and if we take four a bit ripple carry adder consider if one adder right produces the output with a delay of 10 nanoseconds then there is four adders so totally four nanoseconds will be will be the delay correct 
to overcome that we are going for carry look ahead adder which is a different logic right so as i said carry look ahead adder can be represented as cla adder right and the main principle here is it will parallelly generate carry right that it is not interdependent that it will be able to carry generate the carry automatically right based upon the inputs it will automatically generate the carry right so how is that it will it will generate the carry right so normally right a carry signal will be generated in any particular adder circuit if you take any particular adder circuit you will have a input b input and c that is full adder circuit carry in correct so you'll have three inputs right and if the carry needs to be generated what has to be done right either right either a and b has to be one and this has to be zero right or right this has to be one and any of this has to be has to be one correct right out of three if two inputs is one definitely you'll get carry right that is one plus one plus zero right if it is if it is like this what will do we'll get zero and one correct carry right and even if it is if all the three are one you'll get carry right one one right in that condition the output will be generated correct that the carry will be generated when both ai and bi are one or when one of the two inputs is one and carry is in on right and in that case also the carry can be generated correct right and using this what you are going to do is we are going to generate a carry look ahead logic right and how is that it works right and listen this is very important okay right so what the main principle here is the carry will automatically generate it it is not interdependent as i said and it will be automatically generated right how is that it automatically generate right this is we know that this is the design of full adder right if you don't understand this go to the full adder video so that you will understand how you got this equation correct so this is the normal full adder equation correct for sum and carry right and instead of a b c i am writing it as x i y i and c i c i is nothing but carry input right and s i is nothing but sum right right i is nothing but the present value so i am representing as i okay and carry right so let's carry out the equation is this one for full adder instead of a b c what i am writing is i am writing it as x y right and x c here instead of b c right and c a right i am writing this in terms of x and y instead of a b okay right and carry out can be generated as c i plus 1 because i am generated i am representing carry in as c i and carry out as c i plus 1 clear right now understand only from this equation carry look ahead adder equation is generated okay right now listen from this equation from this carry out equation how can i write i can take the ci out right ci if i take ci common i can write this way right xi plus yi okay and i can reframe this equation as this as gi and this as pi correct so how can i write this equation so it is gi xi into yi is gi and this one xi plus yi is pi okay another one is ci got it right now understand one particular concept here in order to generate cla that is carry look ahead logic carry will be automatically generated as i said right so for that we are creating a logic right and for that you have two functions one is generating function another one is propagate function right one is generating function and is propagating function okay that is g and p right and you can see the g value is xi into yi and pi value is xi plus yi okay and understand if ga has to be one ga one are going to obtain pathing abina then both x and y has to be one correct because it is a non multiplication operation if x and y is one only then ga will be one correct right and if pi has to be one the propagating function has to be one then what has to be done either x or y has to be one right not both the things either one has to be one right so that is generating function and that is propagating function right generating function what does it mean it generates the carry right and propagating function it propagates the carry right and so far you clear clear with this a uh, particular expression right and this is the logic for generating the carry right you can see here 
again carry look ahead you have generate function you have propagate function using generate function propagate function and carry in i am generating the carry out okay and now you will understand while writing the equations okay now we will we'll go to the circuit how is that i will implement this as a circuit right now listen right so you can see here right g i is equal to x i and y i right and p i is equal to x i plus y i instead of this what i am going to do is i am making i am going to make this p i as x i x r of y i right see don't get confused why i am doing this okay that is uh, to understand it very clearly you don't want to worry about this r operation and this xr operation right and this r operation and xr operation will be will be same okay how it is same right if you if you solve using boolean algebra you can able to prove that uh, xi plus ya is equal to xi plus ya okay you don't want to get into that because it, it involves a lot of steps okay but as if now to make this circuit very simple what i am going to do is i am going to convert this xi plus ya as xi xr of ya right and now you may ask a question now how sir xi plus ya will be equal to xi plus ya right in this particular contest now in this particular contest understand one particular thing right uh, this two values this two equations will will vary right will vary only and only one one occasion that is when when x and y both are equal to 1 then this expression will produce some other result and this expression will be producing some other result right but in carry look ahead adder you don't want to worry about this condition when x and y is equal to 1 because if x i y is 1 then automatically g i will be 1 if g i is 1 then you don't want to worry about p i okay so don't get confused as of now consider g i as g i x i into y i and p i as right now consider like g i equation is x i into y i and p i i consider it as x i x r of y i okay to make it a simple circuit right this is the basic circuit this is called a basic cell right now understand one particular concept right and if it is sum right everything is a full adder correct in in even in carry look ahead adder you can see here in ripple carry adder this is a full adder right right only a design variation will be there because what we are going to do here is i'm going to generate a carry look ahead logic here right i'm going to generate a carry look ahead logic here so a small change will be there but this is full adder this is full adder this is full adder and this is full adder correct right now listen to generate g i right to generate g i what i have to do i have to use an and gate that is if two inputs x i and y i what i will do i will put an and gate so i can generate g i correct right this is clear right and for p i what i will do right x i and y i x i y i right the x r with y i right x i y x r with y i so it will generate p i clear right now you understand how g i generated and p i generated correct and sum sum is nothing but for any sum any particular full order this is the equation that is a plus b that is a x r b x r into c correct how can i implement that right how can i implement that that is two inputs two inputs has to be x r this inputs has to be x i y i has to be x r with c i correct that is the sum correct so we have already have this one x i x r with y i and i am going to use a third input that is c i right so c i and x i this equation is this x r gate right and i am putting as an input here and this is x r so this is sum right now you understand that right how the simple circuit is created this is the basic cell right that is a basic cell the full adder of uh, carry look ahead adder okay this is the basic cell now if it is a four bit carry look ahead adder right you will have four basic cell one two three and four right and now as i said here you can see the carry is not generated from here to here here to here right the carry is generated from here 
you can see carry look ahead logic what is carry look ahead logic sir you can see here from ga pa and si the carry look ahead logic will work right based upon this inputs if you give input si pi gi the carry will be automatically generated so the adders need not to wait for the previous adder right so you not wait for carry from the previous adder it is automatically generated right so that is parallel it is generated so the time taken for carry propagation is reduced clear right now technically you have to explain how this particular gi and pa right right how it produces the carry look ahead logic right you can, now you can understand here listen right this is nothing but the expression which i said right now g if gi is equal to 1 right that is if both xi and yi is 1 gi will be 1 right and similarly if pa is 1 pa is 1 then it produces the carry out right and similarly right as i said the same expression is written in words here whatever i said right so we in order to determine the carry look ahead logic you need to find out pi and gi right that is what we have seen so far right now you'll see this expression okay now as i said the carry will not propagate from one one full adder to other full adder how is that it is happening sir right how is that the carry look ahead logic works right you can see this is the expression correct so this is the expression we have seen correct you can see here ci plus 1 gi plus pa into ci right that is the expression we have seen correct so that is the expression you can see here right so now substitute the values consider start from i is equal to 0 if i put i is equal to 0 now what will happen here c1 right for i is equal to 0 0 plus 1 like c1 and it will be g0 and it will be p0 into c0 correct and this is the first expression right and if you put i is equal to 1 what will happen i is equal to 1 what will happen it will produce c2 that is g1 right plus p1 into c1 now listen very carefully this is very important right this is the small change that is taken in carry look ahead adder so that it does not depends upon the previous carry right if you look at this expression you see there is c1 c1 is the previous carry right if you're going to use the same c1 then what will happen then the delay will will increase right like triple carry adder so instead of c1 what i'm going to do is i'm going to substitute the value of c1 right so what will happen g1 plus p1 into c1 value what is g0 plus p0 into c0 correct right and now what will happen this is the expression write the expression g1 plus p1 into g0 plus p1 into p0 into g0 sorry c0 right and this is the expression you can see here g1 p1 into g0 p1 p0 c0 sir what is that we are achieving in the expression you can see here there is no c1 right it need not wait for the previous carry right there is only the initial carry the initial carry will be either the value will be given or it will be zero right you don't want to worry about it right and now if you see c3 the same expression right if you substitute the same expression like that you'll get c2 here and if you substitute c2 value you'll get this expression and if you substitute c3 value you'll get this expression now if you look at any particular this is the carry logic this is the carry logic for carry look ahead if you see that any any particular equation there will not be any previous carry only the initial carry c naught will be there there is no c1 c2 anything will be there which means if you need c4 if you determine g3 p3 and this calculation it will automatically cal calculate c4 if you need c2 if you know this values it will automatically calculate c2 like that it will be automatically calculated so that the delay will be reduced right hope you clear with this explanation right. thank you students thank you for watching kandipa in the video ungalku ellarku romba useful ah irukum nambra subscribe passionate professor and keep learning thank you very much